Welcome to Equa. In this movie we want to show you how building services systems and components can be evaluated under summer conditions using Ida Eyes. We will introduce you to different supply systems, air handling units, variable air volume systems and different generation systems. Let's start with the supply systems. In the most basic approach, so-called ideal coolers can be included in a model. These are cooling machines located in the zone with an ideal control. An ideal cooler has a number of different possible parameter settings. In addition, Ida Ice also offers the possibility to simulate real supply systems. Let's take for example thermal active building systems. These are included by the user directly in the slab. Different parameter settings are possible. The power under design conditions as well as the delta T of the water under the design conditions. In addition, the type of control and the sensor type. The depth under the surface is also specified. These are the simulation results for one day. They show the cooling power at the surface of the construction and at the pipe level. For the former, the damping effect of the building mass can clearly be seen. Next, we want to show you the cooling panel. The user again specifies the cooling power under design conditions, the temperature difference between the air and the water, and the delta T of the water itself. Also available are chilled beams. The user defines the cooling power under design airflow and when no airflow occurs, as well as the design airflow itself. Also required is again the temperature difference between the air and the water and the delta T of the water itself under design conditions. And again the controller type and the sensor type. The last supply system we want to show you are the fan coil systems. These can be operated through electricity or water based. The user defines again a power under design conditions and a controller. The electricity requirements from the fan are also taken into account. Let's turn to the air handling units. Here we see a standard air handling unit. The set point for the temperature of the supply air can be defined in different ways. This is the supply airstream with the heat exchanger, the heating coil, the cooling coil and the ventilator. This is the return airflow. Ida Ice has a series of other pre-specified air handling units, all of which are included into the model through a very easy drag and drop system. For instance, an air handling unit with a control of the supply air temperature as a function of the return air temperature from the zones. Set points are specified for the return airstream and the possible temperature variation of the supply airstream. Another air handling unit contains a humidifier in the exhaust airstream for indirect evaporative cooling. For the humidifier, a series of parameter definitions are possible. Let's have a look now at which mechanical ventilation systems for a zone can be modeled. In addition to constant air volume systems, Ida Ice can also simulate variable air volume systems. We want to illustrate this with these three reference models. Here we see the zone form of the model with a constant air volume. For the second model, we specify a variable air volume system. You can see that the change of the control requires just a different selection in the pull-down menu. Please also note that in addition to a temperature controlled flow regime, the definition of other control strategies is also possible. In the last model, we increase the internal gains in the zone. These are the airflows that occur in the three zones. We can see the constant airflow in the graph on the left, variable airflows in the other two graphs, and an increased airflow due to the increased internal heat gains in the bottom graph. 
We can also compare the temperatures in the zone with constant airflow, shown on the left, to one with a variable airflow. There is a greater temperature variation with the constant air volume system. And over the year, also a greater increase of the air temperature in this zone. Note that the zone contains a local cooling element, which is turned on at 25 degrees C air temperature. Otherwise, the increase would be even more significant. The VAV system, on the other hand, is purely cooled through the air supply. Lastly, we want to talk about generation systems. Every Ida Ice model contains a chiller and a boiler, which supplies tempered water to the air handling units and the local supply units. These are simple models with a constant COP. There are also certain maximum capacities and settings for the supply temperature to the air handling units and supply units. Pumping power is also taken into account. Here, different calculation approaches are provided and depending on the one chosen by the user, certain parameter settings need to be specified. A detailed representation of a generation system with all its components is a far from trivial task. To still enable users with a limited background in plant modeling to set up such a model, we have developed a wizard for the definition of a more complex plant configuration, our so-called ESPO plant. With the ESPO plant, the user is provided with a simple drag and drop system for the inclusion of plant components in a simulation model. For instance, a brine to water chiller. Having included this component, the user has the possibility of adapting certain parameter definitions, such as the compressor type or different temperature differences under design conditions. It's even possible to include borehole loops in the model. For this component, the user can specify their length and the number of holes. In this context, it's important to note that different borehole loops do not influence each other. For a more detailed assessment of a borehole field, the ida Ice extension module Boreholes is available for the user. Another example for a component is a brine to air heat exchanger. Here it is again possible to adapt through commonly known parameter settings the component to the situation that occurs in reality. After the definition of the components using the input wizard, we can now have a look at the plant model itself, which is automatically generated in the background by ida Ice based on the definitions provided by the user. We can see that it's a model with a great degree of detail. Plant simulation is also the topic of another dedicated movie. Thank you for your interest in Ida Ice. More information can be obtained by contacting info at equa.se.